And welcome back to Saturday Report. I am Rita Cosby. The congressional race for Wyoming's only congressional seat is drawing attention as incumbent Liz Cheney is being primaried big time. And joining us now is her challenger, Harriet Hageman. Harriet, great to have you here. Um, you know, first off, um, you, of course, got uh, the big endorsement from President Trump. Needless to say, uh, he's not happy with Liz Cheney. Um, you were at the rally together in Casper on May 28th. How big is that endorsement and how important was it to be there and have the president there? Rita, thank you ha for having me this morning. And I have to say that that rally was an experience of a lifetime. I don't know if you've ever attended one of President Trump's rallies, but that was my first one. And it was exciting to have him. He was welcomed by all of Wyoming. We broke the record for that facility. There were over 11,000 people in the room when he took the stage and boy, he delivered. Having his endorsement has been very important because we are an America first state. We're a Wyoming first state and we're an America first state. We believe in in, uh, enforcing our borders. We're fed up with the inflation. We're fed up with the policies of the failed Biden administration. And Donald Trump gave us a taste of what it could have been like had he been reelected. Why did you feel it was important to challenge Congresswoman Liz Cheney? Um, you, you brought up some interesting things. I was looking at your site and it's your, I love your, your motto is ride with the brand. You feel she has not been riding with the brand. Explain that. Well, very simply, Liz Cheney doesn't live in Wyoming. She's not from Wyoming, and she doesn't have Wyoming values. She lives in McLean, Virginia. That's where her formative years have, have been. That's where her husband and her and her family live. Um, and she doesn't really understand Wyoming. And that's been clear over the last year and a half with the positions that she's taken. She talks a lot about being a constitutional conservative, but I would really hope that she would someday read the document, because I don't believe that she follows the Constitution. And what she did in terms of the impeachment vote in, in uh, 2021 demonstrates that she doesn't believe in due process. Her involvement and participation in the January 6th commission even furthers, uh, further gives us an example of that. That, uh, that commission is abusing its power. That is not the purpose of Congress. This is a group of people who want to spend all of their time destroying Donald Trump, and that is not where Wyoming is. We want her to represent us. We believe that she should be on the Natural Resource commission, Committee instead of the January 6th commission. We think she she should be pushing back against the radical Biden administration's decision just in the last week to enter into a settlement agreement with radical environmental groups to pause 2,000 oil and gas leases here in Wyoming. We think that she ought to be attacking the issues that uh, uh, related to, to energy security. We think that she ought to be talking about the border. She doesn't. The only thing she's focused on is January 6th, and as a result, she's not representing us. We're entitled to have an effective representative in Washington, D.C. Liz Cheney is not that. You know, Harriet, you bring up a lot about January 6th, and of course, we're going to be seeing these uh, primetime hearings this week, and she's going to be front row and center. What do you make also, I wanted to ask you about Peter Navarro um, and the way that they have really been going after him. I mean, just in the last 24 hours, you know, there he is at the airport, and he's shackled, put in handcuffs and leg irons. What was your reaction to the way that that committee, very much spearheaded by Liz Cheney, uh, is handling this? I don't think that there could be a better example of what I'm referring to in terms of an abuse of power. He's not a threat. He's not a threat to his fellow man. He's not a flight risk. Seriously, they're going to arrest him and may and do a perp walk with Peter Navarro. The, 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 it's so obvious what the purpose of that is, which is to warn everybody else, you either submit to us or we will make you pay. That's not what our government is about. That is not what our government should be doing. That's not what Liz Cheney should be doing. We didn't elect her to go after someone like Peter Navarro. So again, I think that what's happening is their their true colors are really showing through. They believe in a dictatorial government. They're, they're tyrants, and they are going to punish 
uh, anybody who stands in their way or doesn't believe in their narrative. They do not believe in the First Amendment. They do not believe in freedom of speech. They do not believe that we have a legitimate question about the 2020 election. They do not believe that we have the right to discuss those issues. But the fact is, I really am a constitutional attorney. I don't just play one on TV. And the First Amendment is absolute. Peter Navarro has the right to have an opinion, and Liz Cheney does not have the right to take that opinion away. Well, a lot of people agree with you. Clearly, in Wyoming, there was a new poll that I just saw. It's a Club for Growth poll. Um, amazing numbers, by the way. Bravo, this was amazing. Recently, uh, that Cheney has sunk 30 points behind you in the Wyoming GOP primary. Is that the sentiment that you're getting clearly from people there in your state? Well, right now, I am in Thermopolis, beautiful town near the center of the state. And I was at an event last evening, and uh, last weekend, as I said, we had over 11,000 people. I don't know if you watched the video, but the reception that I received was absolutely enormous. And what that tells me is people are absolutely fed up with Liz Cheney. We are fed up with her antics. We're fed up with her, uh, again, her disregard for the Constitution and the rights of the people that they're dragging before that commission. Uh, and the people in Wyoming, they are behind me, and they want Liz Cheney to stay in Virginia. They don't want her back here. They don't want her claiming our seat to further her power grab. They do not want, uh, w one of the words that I hear is we're embarrassed. People in Wyoming are embarrassed that Liz Cheney is using Wyoming's lone congressional seat to further her own political agenda. It's sad, uh, it's disturbing with all of the horrible things coming out of this administration. The fact that she's doing what she's doing has just really got people here in Wyoming terribly upset for good reason. She's not representing us, she's representing the mm -hmm. Uniparty, she's representing the Democrats. Well, we're gonna be watching this race closely. Thank you so much, Harriet. It's so great to have you with us. We wish you so much luck. Thank you for being with us. Thank you, Rita. Thank you. And everybody, we'll be right back.